Good morning. Welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle11, and you can find me on Twitter at Razzle11Grinds. I'm going to take a look at some pitching for today. Uh, Wednesday, the 21st of June, we have a seven-game day slate and a six-game main slate this evening. Uh, so let's just jump in. During the day, right away at the top, Kevin Gosman taking on the Marlins. Going to be the top option on the day. Uh, I don't really think I need to say a whole lot about Kevin Gosman. Not as great on the road, but still pretty strong. Um, coming off a decent start against a tough Texas team. Struggling against Minnesota, but was dominant in his prior starts. K's haven't been there the last couple. Um, some worries there, but those should bounce back at some point. Christian Javier, I'm not sure I can go to Javier. Um, he just doesn't look the same as last year. Uh, his overall numbers are strong, don't get me wrong. Uh, the K's just haven't been as prevalent. Uh, once again, thrown really well at home, not really allowing home runs at home. Uh, but these K numbers just aren't going to get it done at 10K. Um, really capping his upside right now. But, you know, initially he's going to be in consideration. He's just somebody that I'm I'm willing to remove from my pool uh, if I find some better options on this slate. Zach Gallon, um, this is what worries me. Uh, his road numbers have been really bad. Did absolutely dominate the Brewers at home. Brewers lineup overall is pretty weak, uh, in my opinion. So I, I think I will be going to him, but there, you know, keep going back to this. These road splits are are pretty extreme, actually. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna probably have to just close my eyes and go with him. I like his upside more than Javier's, so you know he would slide in ahead of Christian Javier for me today. Josh Bradley. Hasn't been very sharp at home. Uh, in fact, he's been pretty pretty rough. But uh, strong K numbers. His last start was on his way to a, a great performance and then just hit a wall in the fifth inning. Um, kind of see that might be a theme for him uh, until they get him completely stretched out and allowing him to go. But the strikeouts are there, uh, and that's always key in DFS-wise. So. He's somebody I'm going to be using, uh, but I'm not expecting the world out of him. Tyler Wells has had been a little unlucky on the road. Uh, his whip and average against on the season are elite. Two runs or less than four straight starts, taking on a very tough Tampa Bay squad, but Tampa Bay has been striking out a bit more. The offense itself overall has been kind of cooled down uh tyler wells might be a sneaky option uh for gpp play andrew abbott uh beautiful weather for hitting in cincinnati today mid 80s but i i love the the spot against like a weak colorado team whose best hitters are left-handed right now uh that should help him neutralize them the walks are an issue uh strikeouts have come down in each start but, uh, you know, he was taken out after just 83 pitches last start. So I think he can bounce back to, you know, low to mid-90s in pitches. His first two starts being over 100 at 105 each are a great sign for, you know, for understanding that Cincinnati is going to let him pitch, uh, which is obviously key, especially in a great matchup. Uh, Alcantara not really not going to do it against Toronto. Um, you know, he, he does have these strong starts, stronger. I shouldn't even call them strong because he's not racking up strikeouts or anything. So um, I'm just not seeing it. So at this point, I'm just going to wait for it to, to come back if it ever does. Uh, Tehran, I'm not on against Arizona. Arizona is one of my favorite teams to stack almost every slate. And 
I'll be honest, I'm expecting some extreme regression from Tehran at some point here in the near future. Uh, Kyle Hendricks, somebody that I don't really enjoy rostering, but he's looked good uh, the last couple starts. Problem is, there's just no K upside with him. Uh, so that is such a worry. Um, but strong in his two road starts, uh, especially the San Francisco one. Pittsburgh offense isn't exactly destroying the baseball. Uh, I believe they were shut out last night, shut down by Stroman, uh, and shut out over the game. So uh, Kendricks might, or Hen Kyle Hendricks might be uh, an SP2 option for us on this slate. Rich Hill let me down last time against the Brewers. The six walks weren't going to get it done. Uh, had been solid prior to that. Um, I'm going to have to dig into some of his history against this Cubs team just because I think generally the Cubs are a decent team against left-handed pitching. Um, I'm going to take a look and see if I can see a Vegas line quick. Uh, I didn't bring those up, but... Uh, the Cubs are a minus 115 favorite. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to dig into Rachel a little bit more. The only other guy down here that I am considering would be Matthew Boyd. Uh, was solid against Kansas City. Uh, not completing five innings, though, which is annoying. Uh, his numbers at home are, have been atrocious. But he did shut down, you know, like I said, Kansas City, the White Sox. Uh, he said a couple tough matchups at home, you know, Seattle, Texas, Arizona. Uh, so that's kind of playing into some of his numbers. I think he does has have 20-point upside. You know, the Ks can happen. Uh, so I am interested GPP-wise, but I understand it's extremely volatile. I'm going to switch over to the main slate quick. Uh, Otani at the top versus Dodgers. It's going to be an exciting matchup. We know he already has elite upside. No problem playing him, but I most likely won't go too heavy uh, at that price tag against the Dodgers. Luis Castillo hasn't been great on the road. He is a favorite in this game. Uh, minus 170 favorite. Pretty low total game as well at 7.5. I'm definitely interested in Luis Castillo even after Kirby uh, ruined my night last night. Didn't really ruin it. He he settled in and was fine, but still, it was frustrating. Sonny Gray uh, was strong against Boston the one time he faced him. Been great at home. I am very interested. I think he's a little upset. He hasn't crossed the 79 pitch mark in three of his last four starts. And I know he likes to pitch deep. Um, so I imagine he's going to come out and try to get it done. So I do like... Sonny Gray a bit uh, as a minus 135 favorite, even though Boston's offense has been scoring some runs. Kopech, against a very dangerous offense, I am very worried, but he's really strong at home. If he can avoid home runs, there's upside in this. I, you know, we played Cease last night against this Texas squad. I think we need to play Kopech, but... I will definitely be stacking the Texas side as well, aiming for those home runs that he inevitably gives up. New Darvish struggled against San Francisco earlier. A uh, bunch of strikeouts, which are nice. He struggles on the road a bit. Uh, I'm going to look into his history at San Francisco, uh, just because this ballpark is great for pitching. But as you can see, his recent form has not been strong. I am going to use him uh, at this price, but... Uh, it'll be somewhat sparingly, uh, in, unless I dig in and his numbers in San Francisco are really strong. Paul Blackburn has been throwing the ball really well. Takes on a Cleveland team that doesn't strike out a ton, uh, but they aren't a very dangerous offense either, so I think he's certainly in play for us on this slate. Garrett Whitlock, I like him as a pitcher. He's in great form. The Twins strike out a ton. Uh, give me plenty of Garrett Whitlock in that game. No interest in Brito. Um, wonder how he went down. Yeah, he's struggled in the majors. I'm not sure how he's been in the minors. Um, but I'm just 
no real interest, even against the Seattle team that can strike out plenty. I'm just not interested in Brito. Uh, the one guy down here that I am definitely using, Gavin Williams making his Major League debut. Um, just an elite pitching prospect. Uh, elite K numbers. Uh, it's time for him. I, I have a feeling I may go... I don't know if I put a number on it right now, it's 75 to 80% Gavin Williams tonight. So just to get an idea of where I'm looking. Um, Chaminaya is interesting as a long reliever. I don't think, I think the Giants are going to go with an opener. Um, he did get lit up by San Diego earlier. That was in that Mexico City game. Um, but I just don't think we need to go there because we can just use Gavin Williams in pretty much every spot. So. There you have it. There's a look at the pitching. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. And if you want to join us, I will put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R-A-Z, for 10% off your monthly membership, or SUMMER50 for 50% off your first month. And as always, best of luck, everybody.